Got a big one. There is a land where people don't normally go. The landscape is rugged and made of mud. The isolation of the fish living there is their protection. I know another man who seeks out fish off the beaten path. So when he asked me to go fishing, I knew I would be taking him here, to no man's land. Hey everybody, I'm Austin. This is Spencer from River Certified. We flooded the river yesterday and we tried to find something big. Here's what's going on. Super excited to be out here. The mission's pretty simple. We just want a big fish. Pretty sweet Eddie right there. Right away, we found some promising looking spots to fish. But after giving them each some time, we kept moving. Next spot. About to fish a pretty cool spot. There might be a tree underwater right here. We're just fishing this tree kind of right on the current seam. It's a big tree, most of it's underwater. But I think it'll be a producer for us. We'll see. Really cool to be out here with Spencer though. Yeah, I like this spot. I think we're gonna stay here until Spencer passes us. And then we'll leapfrog on from there. It's been a long time since I've got a big fish in the kayak and I've really only caught one in my kayak. So it'll be very interesting when I get wrecked by a big blue. We're going for flatheads, but a blue is probably what's gonna happen. And uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. Something just slapped this bluegill. Slapped it. Here we go. There we go. It might be kind of big, I don't know. Blue. Hey, it's the first fish of the day. Has me feel very, very happy. Little fella. No skunk. He did eat a big bluegill though. Working on it. I'm proud of you. All right, we're gonna let this one go. Did you get any bites up there? Where I was at, it was so windy. I kept playing. I might have got one little path, but nothing I'm too excited about. Gotcha. I am about to hook a fish so big that it sends a tail full of water right into my front camera, destroying that file. But the fish in footage is too big and too good not to include. A big one. Yeah. Little man, guys. Oh. There's a lot of timber. We gotta keep him out of it. Well, I don't know how much he weighs, but 
vertically from a kayak, that's, that's a big, big boy. I can't! Well, here's a fun thing. I just had to pull over after I caught that fish. Uh, if you're not a YouTuber, you won't understand, but when stuff splashes a lot, like that blue cat did, he splashed some stuff right into my camera, like the internals. So my camera had some problems. Beautiful day, guys. I decided I'm gonna move on from that spot. It was moments like these that probably meant the most to me throughout the trip. Just two fishermen free floating through a beautiful landscape, exchanging stories and talking about fishing. How's fishing? This looks really juicy. Big beaver in there. I don't like that. We'll see if he tries to mess with us. We'll unclip quick if that's the case. This is fishing sometimes. We had a good start, but it's been pretty slow ever since. You know, we've caught a couple small ones. Spencer has, so we're two to two on the day. Um, I think we're gonna go down to our campsite soon, but we might fish one more spot here in the hole because it's a nice place for some big fish, but uh, moving on. Okay, we're finally here. But this is a big nasty wood pile, and we know that these big nasty catfish like wood. So I think we're gonna have some good things happen this evening. Golden Shiner Live, we're gonna put them down right in this log jam. Kinda dreamed about catching a fish here. Head of bluegill. Oh, oh, what? A rod tip all the way in the water, but no hookup. Cut bluegill. Yeah. He's in some stuff. Unfortunately, I was never able to retrieve this fish from its snag. Now Spencer's hooked up with something. It's giving him some fight. Yeah. Nice job, Spencer. It had been a long day fishing on the kayak. It's now time to head to the shores for our final destination in the evening bite. If you nose up, I can uh, pull you up. Give me a lift? Yeah. Eight foot straight down. <laughs> is it? Is it really? Yeah. Don't lean out too far. No. <laughs> Don't jump in after. You will be swimming, yeah. Right there wouldn't be a bad spot if we do get lucky and hook a big um, one. I'm excited about this. Yeah. The other thing I'm excited about is the potential. Like, there could be, not saying it'll happen, but there could be a hundred plus pounder in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Coming up the river. Get a bite on the way, right here. Right here. And you wouldn't just zip through here really. This would be a nice spot to take a break. Yeah, yeah, get behind a log. You need a shiner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm with it. Oh. I've been intermittent fasting for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to go this entire day without a bite of food. Very nice. But the trick to intermittent fasting, though, is you go all day without food and then you eat all your calories. It I do that. But it never works that way. Or you do it? Um, I mean, it's not that hard for me to, to for eat. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you much. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I was over there. Right off the end of that log, it's 12 foot. And it was the dog. 
and I Googled it, and I don't remember where it was. Somebody shot a, a long nose over 100 pounds. Oh, there you go. There you go. Not a gar bite. Definitely a blue cat. Any size? Mm -hmm. come on. What the heck? <laughs> it doesn't look like a blue. No, it's a blue. Oh, he twirled in it in the current and got hooked twice. So that's why he felt heavy. Oh, that drag. Yeah. So maybe they're not gar bites, maybe they're just dink blue bites. More combination of both. Because I didn't think that looked like a gar bite, but it might have been a blue so small you couldn't fit your bait in his mouth. Well, the Shiner was my biggest one, yeah. yeah. But they're greedy like that. The one earlier was about that size. They had a bluegill that was over palm size. Mm -hmm. Greedy. That's how they get big. Yeah. No. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah. About to change your clothes. That's funny. I'm sad the camera was off for that. Common carp. Okay, this is going to be kind of our bait rod. That's just a night crawler on a jig head. But we're hoping to just get some bait that's local to the area that'll produce some fish. We just had a drag runner. There we go. Because he was there and then he was gone, and now he's currently here and he stays. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, look how fat he is. He's nice. He's in another line. You want to grab my grippers? Yeah, where are they make at? Make life easier. They're in the boat. Under the, under, right by my phone. Under the yeah, he's a dandy. Yeah. Nice fish. Try to get him over here. There you go. No. Oh yeah. Good oh, fish. Oh dude, he's way bigger than I thought he was. Good fish. If he wasn't like a pig before, he definitely is now. I don't know. Rod started ripping, the clicker started rolling. And I don't know. He's a dandy. He probably looks way bigger than he actually is in this video, but I promise you, he's still pretty darn nice. Nice fish. Thanks, bud. Thanks for the landing job. I appreciate that. Anytime. Hopefully you'll get to do it again here for too long. You said they were going to come out of the woodwork. They weren't mine. He's just doing what blue cats do. He's mean. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to splash it. Trying his best. Oh. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yep. Got him? Yep. Oh, yeah, you do. What is it? It's a worm. Oh. It's a worm, so it could be anything. Literally. I'm yeah, hoping it's. I'm it though, because I have wool socks on now. You're good. I'm going the prima donna route. True. Yeah. Man, what do we got here? Peeling a lot of drag. Buff. That's what we want. Yeah. Cut bait. The filet. Yeah. The filet mignon. He is exhausted. Oh, we got him. And then he didn't. Hey, we got him. Pop quiz. Do you know what kind of buffalo that it is? It's a, it's a smallmouth buffalo, actually. The smallmouth have the big mouth, I, I think. I don't think it is a smallmouth. But I don't think it's a big mouth either. Might look, be a black. What was bait? He just decided. Bluegill. Need any assistance? Not bad. That's a surprise. He was right up here next yeah. to us.
Come on. I mean, I guess, or you could count the buffalo. He surprised me, and he was right in front of camp, which is all a surprise, because we were shining the lights in e everywhere, and he didn't care, and I appreciate that about him. Thanks for the sweet land job, Austin. Anytime. Couldn't have done it without you. You could have. I probably could have, but I would have got my feet wet. So. Sounds, sounds better. Yeah. My feet are already wet, so I volunteered. What a guy. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Good night, man. Nice one. After we started using pieces of buffalo for bait, the bite became very hot. Unfortunately, it was also very late and around midnight, we basically stopped rebaiting. I did, however, wake up to leak around 2 a.m., and I did throw out a larger piece of bait. This is what I caught. Dots. Fishes. Big takedown. I don't know what we're working with here. Yeah. Well, I figured I'm going to catch a fish at 3 a.m. and put him on camera. I'm going to go back to bed. Well, good morning. I'd say sleep was about a 4 out of 10, maybe a 3. But I've got a fish on the line. I'm going to start fishing here while we pack it up. small fish on here. It's been on there for hours. I was just too comfortable to get up and get them. All right, fish number one in the morning. Let's let them go. All right, that's a buffalo fillet. That's what they've been hitting on. Vicious. Vicious. Okay, this is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's a playlist on the top left hand of the screen. There's some more great content in there.